Welcome to Gene and Mike do the New York Times crossword. Hi, I'm Gene. And I'm Mike. And today we're doing the crossword for Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. So, on this midweek crossword, did you muddle through? I did more than that. Oh, yes? I, you soared? I don't, I can't say I soared. Ah. But I, uh, I overcame it. I, I guess that's the way I put it. You overcame the crossword. I okay. overcame the crossword because there were a lot of one words in here I didn't know. Really? And for a Wednesday, that's that's not really all that great, is it? <laughs> well, you know, they start to get a little harder. I mean, mm -hmm. day by day, they get harder. So that's true. Um, I've had Wednesdays where I'm like, I'm doomed on a Wednesday. My streak mm -hmm. is about to die here. Uh, well, uh, I, you know, thankfully the crosses always help. Yep. And especially, you know, on the earlier days of the week, then you can you can kind of piece together the words you don't know. But, but you know, starting with one across, waterproof overshoes, Arctics. Yes. I've never heard of Arctics. So. Me neither. Mm -hmm. um, in the, um, in the uh, column wordplay, they describe them as a generalized, albeit rarely used term for rubberized uh, boot coverings hmm. i'll certainly say it's rarely used because i never heard of it either no. i tried i tried googling it and i really couldn't even get anything out of that hmm. so um arctics arctics yes uh listeners if any of you happen to be wearing arctics or have access to them let us know what you think about your arctics let us know what your arctics are that would be helpful too that's right and then just a couple down from that coward was milk sop yes I, I guess I've heard that term, but I don't know where or when, and I don't think I've ever heard anyone use it in conversation. It's I probably read it in a novel somewhere. It's definitely an older term, right? Mm, I it's, think it, so. it sounds like something that would come out of a, a Superman comic in the 1960s or something <laughs> like that. You milk sop, you. I was thinking more something in Victorian era or oh. Regency era or something. Well, so. it could be, but... I've, I think I've, I, I mean, I've definitely heard the word. Um, and, you know, seeing the word, I recognize it as a word for coward. But <laughs> if I had to come up with a word for coward, I'd come up with coward. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, me too. I don't think milk sop would, would, would leap to mind. No. Although for the next week, if anyone acts like a coward, I'm going to say, you milk sop, yep. you, and then you have did. to explain what I meant. Right. Mm -hmm. And then um, 18 across. Catherine the Great, for one, was a Tsarina. Right. I didn't ever know if she was called a Tsarina. Well, I mean, I, mean, I know she kind of took over Russia from her husband, but I didn't know they referred to her as the Tsarina. I think if she took over Russia, she can call herself anything she wants, <laughs> and people will be, yes, ma'am, mm, or I whatever suppose. the Russian equivalent is. I suppose. And then uh, 25 across, bassist Meyer. I had no idea who that was. It turned out to be Edgar, Edgar Meyer. Right. I was thinking that there was a um, sort of a, uh, what is it, a, a, an orchestra leader, um, Ed, Edgar. There's, there's some co composer named Edgar. Right? Elgar. Elgar. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> would be good if Elgar's first name was Edgar. Hello, I'm Edgar Elgar. Yeah. Don't laugh, I'm famous. <laughs> um, oh, well, I was close. I was just one letter off. Mm -hmm. There might be one named Edgar, too. But... Right. They probably don't try and perform at the same, uh, <laughs> same theater. It just gets too confusing. Right. Um, we had 20 across city on Florida's space coast, Cocoa Beach. Yes, I've been there. I've heard that name like a long time ago. Yes. That's when I was there a long time ago. Uh huh. I guess it's still Cocoa Beach. <laughs> it is one of the prettiest beaches I think I've ever seen. It was the first beach I've ever seen. I went when I was a little girl. Of course, living in the middle of the country, I had never seen the ocean, and that was the first time I saw the ocean. Mm. On Cocoa Beach. Yeah, that was that was pretty exciting. Was there a lot of sand on the beach? Yes. Any cocoa and shells? But no cocoa. No cocoa. Why do they call it cocoa? I don't know. I don't know, but it, it was a very clean and just very pretty beach. Hmm. I remember. I'm just, and the ocean was just amazing. I was, I was very young, but 
So it was easily impressed, but the ocean just was like, whoa, I've never seen this much water in my life. Mm -hmm. so. I just worry about, you know, chocolate milk spills and the like. <laughs> That's probably how it got its name. The big, the big chocolate milk tanker ran aground in the no 1940s. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else was interesting? Oh, you know, uh, 16 down, antebellum, pre-war. Pre-war. I'm not quite sure how antebellum and pre-war are related, but apparently they are. Well, uh, the antebellum is a is a um, an era, right? Is that right? Right. So, uh, some some tranche of time, and that's presumably before some war. Now, well, the U.S. has been so, in quite a few of them, so I'm not I mean, sure which one. Antebellum is, you know, that's a word that's sort of associated with the South, right? So I'm I'm assuming pre Civil War. So, I I guess mm -hmm. my knowledge we of might, history. We might have to uh, research that. My mm -hmm. well, we could, but you know, we've already got our our hands full with button Gwinnett. I just <laughs> I just don't know how we're going to have time for a button Gwinnett and antebellum. <laughs> Frankly, there are only so many hours in the day. True, true. So, well, we should probably talk about the theme. Oh, was there a theme? Oh, there was a theme. There yes. was a theme. So. There were five themed clues, and you knew they were themed clues because the first uh, few squares of the answer were grayed in, yes. were shaded. And so uh, we've already talked about two, uh, 17 across, which was Milk Sop, and 20 across, which was Cocoa Beach. And the milk and the cocoa were uh, in the shaded squares. Uh, and then we had 32 across, nicknamed for a clumsy person, and that was a Butterfingers. I and love that word, by the way. Butterfingers? Mm -hmm. Do you ever use it? No. <laughs> you Butterfingers, but, you. But if I run into one and they're afraid of me, I'll be you Butterfingered Milksop. <laughs> so, anyway, Butter was, was shaded, and then 42 across, some stir-fry vegetables. I love this answer. Sugar snap peas, sugar snap peas, and sugar was um, was highlighted there. And then finally, the last one was uh, 54 across rapper with the 1990 album To the Extreme, and that was Vanilla Ice, and mm -hmm. vanilla was highlighted. So we had milk, cocoa, butter, sugar, and vanilla, and uh, the the uh, Spoiler or revealer was uh, 62 across, which you might cry upon recognizing this puzzle's ingredient list. And the answer to that was, oh, fudge. Yes. So. And they definitely needed a lot of helpful crosses to, at least for <laughs> me to work that out. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I had no idea that that was fudge. Well, I, I, I guess maybe that could make fudge. Well, I mean, it's in the New York Times. It surely must be able to. <laughs> so, Have you ever made fudge? Yeah. Did you ever use milk, cocoa, butter, sugar, vanilla? I used uh, marshmallow cream, too. Hmm. They oh. couldn't work that into the grid. I don't, no, apparently not. Th this, is an e this is a highly edited uh, menu here, or, or, or recipe mm -hmm. here. And nuts, of course. I just put, well, I guess not everybody puts nuts in fudge, but... Nope. I no, I don't. Th I think of it as sort of being a smooth, cho you know, really, really dense chocolate. Yes, but, mm -hmm. um, that's why the nuts are good. Sort of, sort, sort of a up. bit of a breather. <laughs> yeah, maybe they could just aerate it, or maybe they could leave out some of the cocoa and some of the butter. But uh, right, that would also help. Yep, yep. So, anyway, that was the theme. Excuse me. <coughs> no. Yep. Um, yes, and the theme was grand. It was uh, cute. I and and there were a few other uh, a few other clues I thought at least I appreciated. Um, Thirty five down was takes to court was sues, mm -hmm. and very recently we had haul up when you bring someone in front of a judge. That's right. So we've got sues, we've got haul up. Mm -hmm. Who knows what we'll have tomorrow? <laughs> Probably uh, I don't know. I don't even want to. I don't even want to guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty seven across was. Capital of Georgia, question mark? And that was G, G-E-E. -E. Yes, that was funny. Yeah, and I was sort of ready for that. Well, it's yeah. like, well, capital of Georgia, it's just like, come on, there's the G just 
crying out to be recognized <laughs> in the grid. It was only three letters. So yes. You knew it. It wasn't the capital of Georgia. <laughs> Which was a good thing because I don't know what the capital... Wait, don't tell me. Let's see. Capital of Georgia. Um, Memphis? No, wait. That could be Tennessee. Georgia. Charlotteville? Charlotte? Wait, I'm not really sure. Great. Now... <laughs> Is, I don't... I mean, oh, you know what? I remember Georgia doesn't have a capital. It's yes, one of it it's one of the few states that said we don't need a capital. Is it Macon? They have a lowercase. <laughs> I don't think it's Atlanta. But Atlanta would be Georgia. Mm -hmm. Which is what we're talking about. Yes, that's right. That's okay, right. this conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> Definitely have to edit this out. <laughs> oh, well, something I thought was funny was thirty one down. Conical shelter was TP, and then just right almost under it, 53 down, little laugh was T he. Uh huh. They had TP, T he. Wonder if they laughed in the TP, it would be T he in the TP. That's right. Um, we had 44 down, songs for one was solely. Mm -hmm. Once again, they've taken solos and, mm -hmm. and, I, I guess that's the correct. Pluralized it oddly. So Odd, oddly, oddly, you'd say. Oddly. Mm, okay. <laughs> and six. Let's see. Sixty-five across. Ding, ding, ding. Was correct. Yeah, and, and <laughs> that we, was funny. We just had this crossword that involved bells mm. and ringing things in various ways. Yes. Uh -huh. And now we have more bells. That's They're right. just following us. Mm -hmm. I. It took me some time to come up with 66 Across International News Agency since 1851, Reuters. Yes, that was another one that was on my list of words I didn't really know. Oh, surely you know Reuters. I, I know Reuters, but it took me, I mean, I didn't, it didn't come to me when I saw that clue. Well, I had to get it through the crosses. Yeah, I mean, my uh, news sources are such that I rarely see things by Reuters. Or if I do, I just sort of like gloss yeah, right over it. you don't even look at where right. where they're from, you know. You think, oh, well, it was in the New York Times or, you know, it was in some magazine or whatever. But right. You don't think, oh, that's a Reuters Where's the article. original source? <laughs> well, that's sort of on Reuters. I mean, they, they really need to sort of get out in the media more. Mm-hmm. Um, seven down, I found sort of interesting. Um, abnormally deep sleep. I handing it, had it ending with O-R, and I thought, oh, it's topor. But that's not the right word even close. The, the close, the word that I was thinking of was actually torpor, T-O-R-P-O-R. -O -R. Yes. And that's when an animal, like, hibernates. Yes. And that's not to be confused, but I did, with sopor. Sopor. When you're in sort of a deep sleep. Yes. That, uh, again, another word I did not know <laughs> in this class. Well, we've had sopor before, I, I feel fairly confident about. It. But the trouble was Arctic tea sounded just as good to me as waterproof overshoes, except for the fact that overshoes was plural. Yes. And had me thinking, gee, maybe it's not topor. Uh -huh. Interestingly, if you look up uh, torpor, if you do a search on Topor, uh, they you know Google brings you to Torpor, and it shows you the the Wikipedia article on it, which starts at the at, at the very top. Not to be confused with Topor, and I'm like <laughs> too late, I already have. But yeah, so this was a uh, this was a nice crossword. It mm -hmm. was by Michael Schlossberg. Mm -hmm. We have heard that name before. Oh yes, yes. I'm not sure how many times we've heard that name before. But I can tell you right now, it's 12. Boy, we just saw one from him. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, so there's this one today, but I am sure. Well, well, let's see. Where are his other crosswords? So, uh, listeners, we are looking at um, xwordinfo.com. Highly recommended. And let's see. He did one today. And then he did he did one just a month ago. Uh for, actually, less than a month ago, April twenty first, hmm. and a few weeks ago, and January seventh. The man is just incredible. He's the doctor. Yes, he was the doctor who wrote that fine, fine crossword that people just went insane over. Oh yes, uh, that was that the get cracking one. No, wasn't that the the one with the circles that you know with the dials? That oh, you, with the locks. The locks, yes. 
Mm-hmm. I think that was a Sunday. I think it was get crack. It was get cracking. That was the one because mm-hmm. it was about like like yeah. safe cracking. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, hopefully people will feel a little bit less enraged <laughs> about this one. Although we are talking about word wordplay, so who knows? But I liked we, it. I liked it too. I think five squares in the jam CR scale Sounds is good to me. Definitely warranted here. Mm-hmm. And that is it for today. So thanks everyone for listening. Uh, remember, you can always drop us a line, crossword podcast at iCloud.com. And also thanks to Buzzsprout, who hosts our, uh, our podcast. Um, you can also send us text at, uh, there's a link for fan mail, and you can, you can text us that way. We don't think we can text back, but you can text us. Just let us know what you think. Yep. That's it for today. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again with our cutting-edge analysis of tomorrow's crossword tomorrow. Bye-bye.